Hey guys and gals, let's start another project. Today we have the Dry Bowser Castle Battle by LEGO Super Mario, set number 71423. Contains approximately 1,321 bricks, retails for $109.99, and the set was provided by the LEGO Group for review. And yeah, so I'm tripping over bins of parts for set reviews, not for mocks or tutorials or anything. And this is essentially what we're going to be building today, and this is just useless waste of paper that's all they give you you actually have to download the building guide uh as far as for the how the build's broken up i don't know because it is a digital building guide and so you already know what grade this set's going to get it's going to be a flat out zero in case it's a family build and if it's entertaining and all that stuff so right now we're starting off the grade at zero it probably won't get anything better than probably a one or a two all right, so let's begin with bag one. I have everything keyed up here, and that's bag one essentially right there. <laughs> I kid you not, they, they, they kind of, I think they come with a brick separate, especially for this prize for an incomplete set. And yeah, and I'm hoping the app doesn't freeze up. Something with one leg in front of the other. And trying to get stuff done right right now here's a little bit of an update on everything i am working on a building instruction guide for a convertible sports car that i just got done and i'm trying to get that done for august and i got some other things i got i got a bunch of tutorials that i gotta start putting together in terms of metadata and stuff i think about three or four maybe more so I got a lot of stuff I got to get done today. And is it one of those blocks that jump on you? <laughs> but I got to get all that done today. And right now I'm processing the um, that Ramby thing for Monday. And today is the 23rd of july 2023 it's the afternoon about 1 30 so <laughs> it's a sunday and i'm trying to get everything done and my goal is to divide these builds up into ba four bags but i think this one might be an exception because that's it for bag one we just build this guy here does it even have it mention what his name is on the box because i forget people make fun of me because i don't memorize all this stuff so this is bone goomba all right well i thought it was that thing that jumps down from the from the underworld or the castle worlds but no that's what it is and i can't even find jay this the friends fig today i'm kind of no i don't want to activate bluetooth you know you think you prepare for this stuff and you don't let me see if i can find jay the friends doll which i can't isn't that cool maybe he's on the set thing i don't know let's look here and i don't see him well i'll probably have to find that too huh i don't have another clone of him well let me go find him real quick hold up Okay, so basically what you do is you come here and go boing, 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 ding, 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 ding. That's pretty much about it. So we're going to go ahead and start with bag two. Have to stop the animation. Can't tell. <laughs> Too hairy. I know, a lot of my buddies, their arms are almost like completely just hairless. Very, one of my friends, though, he's, he's like Chewbacca. Except his arms are just have no hair on them, but everything else does. I'm like, oh. Well, we're done with that. And now, let's see what bag two has to offer. So today, we are going to just see if we can do bags one through five. And we gotta get something out of the bulk bin. Oh, we need two of those. Okay. And here we go. We don't even need those right now, huh? Well, at least I have them out. 
Wow, Lego, you actually started with this upside down? Well, that's a shocker. Sometimes you don't do that. Yeah. It's Sunday night and everybody wants takeout food. I said, you can have that tonight. I am going to make me a meal. They want Chinese food. I'm like, ugh. It's like a hundred and something degrees today. Very hot. And that does not sound good at all. But my bunch, they like the spicy stuff during the hottest part of the year. Here I'm thinking of like snow cones, cold cuts, all that stuff. I got plenty of time to eat the warm stuff. So anyways, today I'm going to try to get done with these five bags. I want to um, get done with a building guide, and I'm editing some videos, and I'm trying to find great. And I'm going to tell you right now, I was doing the unboxing on this set. It was boring. Just going through the parts, and as you can see, it's mostly gray and black. I first thought I was putting together one of those uh, dream sets, but well, this is going to be one of those sets where... We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to stick it out. Get it done today. And there's a lot of medium to small pieces in this set, so it looks big. It's, but it's, I think it's mostly fluff and puff. So I'm whole. I was hoping this would be like, oh, this is gonna be a big model. I mean, it could still be. I'm hoping it's a family build. So we already know bag one is isolated from bag two. I'm hoping that's how they're doing it. But I've noticed Lego has been keeping things isolated here, which is good because I notice there's individual bags. I think they're finally listening. Like, I don't need to have six bag number ones and trying to find out, and it just overwhelms me. I'm trying to... Still got that owie on my thumb. Doesn't matter which way those flames go. So right now I'm I'm working on a new tutorial. I think I'm going to sneak it into the summer fun for August. It'll be more related than what I have in there now. I actually got two alternatives that I want to start working on real quick. So that's kind of what I want to do here. I wish I had a place to put this phone in. Get it out of the way here. There we go. Set that up there. Um, let me see something. We'll do it like that. And, yeah, sorry if you're hearing all the clunking noises. But, um, I need to really think about how I'm doing things. So, I've been cutting back on the thumbnails in terms of the quality stuff and yeah i got a lot more time now to deal with things now it's editing reviews and building guides the building guides i want to do the reviews not so much so these just sit on here okay they go around that that's what those are for these are something you're going to have to muscle in so Be careful, that thing may come apart. Yeah, that's exactly what that did. Just don't. All right, well, this thing's obviously starting to fall apart. By... Well, look at that. there's a scratch right there. Well, I can't ding it off of a zero grade, huh? I may, I may have to go into negative numbers here very soon. Like, oh, this score gets a neg this set gets a negative 18 out of 10. Why? Because it was that horrible. Don't even waste your money on it. You know, I don't know. I just think I should start out with a flat out zero. It means that's the absolute worst. Absolute best is a 10. You know. This had the Mario scaled minifigures, or the Mario minifigures, like minifigure scaled stuff. Like, these would be eight, easy 8s, 9s, and 10s. You know, if they're family builds with the Mario figure, everything's printed. Yeah, that would be worth that. Alright. 
trying to, oh, there it is. I want us to fill that hole in there. Now these rock pieces are good for terrain. If you really want to build some big mountains, they're pretty much pre-molded. The problem with the they are is they're kind of expensive. This set's only $109,999. It's $110 for 1,300 pieces. And that sounds like a good deal, but it's mostly small stuff that you're getting. So, you know, go figure there. You know what? We're going to have Jay sit here and watch. Because the girls just love him. I think you guys and gals are going to enjoy the summer fun lineup. I try to match themes like September's coming around. Um, usually it's back to school stuff. So I try to do at least one thing that's related to school. And a lot of people are like, well, in my area, though, kids actually like going to school, but um, for me, I don't really know. Oh, okay, so they got this right in the center. That's what that's for. Okay, that's cool. Reminds me of a Minecraft set, huh? But Ryan, Minecraft doesn't have these smooth curves. But yeah, a lot of the school stuff, I kind of got some ideas that I want to do. So I'm just trying to think of how I want to approach it. Usually September is like back to school, and then uh, October is obviously Halloween month. So I try to come up with at least one bill that's related to Halloween. And this doesn't have step numbers, does it? Nope. I can't even tell you what step number I'm on, but... Like, November is, in the States is Thanksgiving, but usually that's what I considered autumn. So I try to do things that are more related towards that. And then... I have a film we're going to have to build more of those. Yep. Yeah. And make sure you pay attention to the to how many are on the screen because you don't know. I think I may just go ahead and do bags one through five in this installment, and then maybe do six, seven, eight, nine, and another installment. Unless this just takes grotesquely too long. Then I won't, but it just depends. And I like these roof pieces too. And that's a half circle. So I need to get a couple of those. Here, we'll put that for Jay. Matter of fact, it almost like, it looks like a good teepee piece. Get those also make some trees too. But but I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think any kid's going to be, be patient with this. And the reason why I'm saying that is because this app is slow. Unless it, you know, I understand why I also like Legos doing this. To make it feel like you're playing a video game. But if I wanted to play a game, I'd just go over to the computer and play Minecraft or something or I can just play Super Mario. Hey, all these go in the center right here. Okay, so that's what we use the headlight bricks for. How seamless is that? Oh, that's pretty tight there. Very, very little wig room, but yeah. Not too bad. Um, we need six of these. There's a thing going on in one of my game apps that I want to play at 2 o'clock, and it's going to get about that time. But I think what I'm going to do is focus on maybe the first five bags before I do. 
and do anything. I really want to get these sets filmed and out of here. Now, I could go ahead and do six bags, but you're talking about going nuts there. I think I think the com most comfortable thing is to break this up into three installments and not try to overwhelm myself trying to finish them up. I should have had us put these in when uh, it's hard when my thumbs all messed up but it should have us put these in when before we had all this other stuff because I have to fight to get around it and bef yes this is a very slow build I'm doing one or two pieces at a time here so you're gonna if you're an adult and you're putting this together you're obviously gonna have to sit here and fight the stupid uh, app and you have to wait for things to load you're doing two pieces at a time this is for kids you know but if honestly i was a kid my retention was not that good so i don't think a child is going to have a lot of patience i'm sure there's probably some out there but hmm must be a slide or something huh I don't know what that is. That looks crooked back there. That's not just how it is. Yeah, make sure that's tilted forward before you push that down in there. And that shows that this thing goes up. And mine's not to stay up, but who really cares? I think it's some kind of a booby trap. And yeah, I don't sound so chipper today. I'm just, uh, it's just too hot to even think. Just get a set done, move on to the next one here, and that's it. But I'm not going to lie, though. These sets do have some good parts. But this one here... Everything pretty much, I'd say about 95% of the stuff in this set I already have. So I could build this so that I didn't have to buy parts for it. I may have to buy a few of the custom stuff, but... I... The parts on this is pretty generic and pretty common stuff. Yeah, I was supposed to build that thing for the phone, never did. Okay. Yeah, we'll do the full-blown tour and stuff, but not today, though. We're not going to have this done for a while. Because, like I said, though, I just want to focus on little bits of the build. And then I'm going to focus on my own personal projects, too. The personal project everybody wants to see. Now, I looked at the statistics for that. Um, lemonade stand I did out of Lego bricks. It was just something I was going to use for a neighborhood build. And I was really surprised that nobody really cared about it. It was very little views. But of course it is the part that most people are off during the summertime. And I don't blame them. Who wants to who wants to build Lego sets during the summertime? Well, if you're if you're stuck at home and and you have nothing to do, that's one thing. Yeah, this thing's obviously not a. mirrored. Okay. 
So I got a couple of alternative projects that I'm working on right now for summer fun. I already have, like I said, if I get behind, I can save them for the end of the year. I can save them for next year, you know, if I don't get to them in time. But the projects that I have now will get bumped in September and October. You know, why not just release them all at once? I do. I release, whatever I get them done, I try to release them on my YouTube members tab. And... So if I only have one member on there right now, but all that right there gets released early. And my intent was, before I got into this whole Bassler thing, I, that's what I was going to be focusing on more was just exclusive stuff. And eventually everything would be released to everybody else who's not on the memberships tab. I, a couple of projects I'm going to be doing will be on memberships. You'll actually have to subscribe to that so i mean they will not be released for any for any time soon i've just i've come up with a few projects but never have started anything yet all right when we're getting there i notice we're using a lot of these with the bricks backwards so okay we got to build another one of these goofy things I mean, is there pieces in this set that I could use? Yeah, a lot of this stuff here I use. But personally, I just uh, kind of, oh, yeah. If you're watching this, depends on when you're watching this, I want to release it, but you'll need these little pyramid tiles for a tutorial. I think you'll need four or five of them, I can't remember. Yeah, it'd be nice if this was a whole castle here. What am I saying? It's a but it Mario's kind of an overpriced budget set. And I'll guarantee you these are gonna go on the front. That's exactly what they do. How do I know that with the digital guide? Just click next, because I already this part was pretty trivial. And I got stuff going around here. Yeah. The last couple of earthquakes we've had it's shifted everything where it's kind of going that way. <laughs> I'm going to have to uh, raise the legs on the bottom of this thing back a bit. Turn things more level. And then these go here. Like that. I did get a comment saying I'm a little too negative on reviews. And I'm just like, I can redirect you to another YouTuber who does positive reviews. And the lady was like, yes, please. Okay, here you go. I actually gave her a link. I said, here you go. Have fun. Knock yourself out. Okay, thank you. And I'm thinking, yeah, I mean, some people want them scripted. I don't want to script these, you know. And so far, is this keeping me entertained? Not really. And, well, we're not done yet. I thought we were done, but no. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of, a lot of hair flipping right now, I'm trying to get this stuff out of my face. I got everything ready to go for next week. I just got to get it done. And goodbye stuff. I don't have to mess with it again. Okay, this goes on the top. And that's it. So this is obviously the outside of the castle here. Well, that's not too bad. I like the way they did these underneath here. And, well, let's just click, click in the check marks here. And we're going to watch the animation here. Okay, so we got these remaining for bag two. And what it does is we have the Goomba. 
I have it sitting here. And you're supposed to go boing, 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 ding, and it falls off like that. That's essentially what it is. And you know, take a face plant here, sit down and behave yourself, Jay. And then that's pretty much what this is. So, yeah. All right, now we're going to start with bag three. And I have a film we're going to probably work more on this. I just got to wait for the building guide to load. Yeah, you do need an internet connection for these. And even if you have the manual download, I think it still tries to receive something for it. So we need two more mountain pieces out of the bolt bin. I think we need to slide that off to the side. Maybe this is enclosed. On the box, they just have it expanded out like they did with the Lion Knight's castle. Um, when I was going through some old movie reels, I did find the War of the Worlds from the 30s, the radio program. I did find um, Beauty and the Beast on, on the film. Let me get that old projector out and get a screen. And I don't have a screen for any of these. Just watch Beauty and the Beast the way it should be. I'm not much into musicals and stuff, but you get that old vintage tech. It's kind of fun. Boy, this feels like we're building a mirror, but when I was going through the parts, everything was kind of slightly different, so I hope not. I mean, how do you get movie reels? You just know people, and two, everything now is digital. Because this thing here is, it's kind of, the, the film is kind of just, they retire them after so often, and they just kind of, the quality just degrades. So, one thing about digital, it just doesn't do that. And now with the advent of 4K, you can get a good experience with a digital copy. Yeah, I was looking for a new webcam for doing live streams, and I found a couple of them. But a lot of people said they, you know, recommend the C920, which was a webcam that I had back ten years ago. It was a really good webcam for its time. But mine broke because the cord was worn out. And it kind of kind of sucked. I tried repairing it and ended up frying the uh, CMO, CMOS chip that was inside. You know, that's how, that's how bad it was. I, used, I just used the crap out of this camera. And now it's like, I kind of wish now I would have just not dealt with the loose cord. It feels like I am building a duplicate here. And you're going to be going through a lot of parts. But for me personally, though, and I saw you rolling off there, but I got to, I want to, uh, some of you said you want me to do the live streams again. And if I do, they're not going to be any building. I'm just going to sit there and chat with you guys, talk about, you know, like what I'm doing now, except I'm not building. Because I cannot build and read the chat room at the same time, because something like this could drag on for literally hours. And I don't want to spend all day doing a live stream. You know, if I do, it'll be for Patreon supporters or something, but I will not just sit down randomly. I'm also looking, in, I'm also looking at uh, getting my old VTube, VTuber software, VTuber Studio fired up. <laughs> and I couldn't remember I had it, and I thought, I never thought I bought something like that years ago, and I did. And it was just sitting there on my... And my Steam thing, I thought, well, I guess I can just use that. But then again, everybody wants to see the face. Just something fun. They say VTubers are mostly for little kids, but even as an adult, <laughs> you know, just maybe make my own mesh up or something. I don't know how I can do it, if it's even possible. 
but to take my sig fig and have my sig fig animated and talk with my voice. It'd be kind of cool. Uh, I'm not into animations all that much, but it would be something a little different. Just have the AI just kind of guide it and stuff, and there you go. I'm just trying to think of how I want to do the live streams and stuff like that. So I think what we're going to be doing is I'm just going to plan out how I want to do live streams. Like I was on Twitch the other night. I thought how I missed just going live. There was some guy playing Minecraft and he was from Australia and I was just watching him for 30, 40 minutes. No fancy graphics, no special effects or anything like that. He was just sitting there building just how I used to do a lot of the stuff. And I just sat there and watched this guy for probably maybe about 20 minutes before I had to get off to do something else. But I thought, I do miss those uh, type of streams. Everybody now wants the music and the heavy graphics. And and I'd rather just focus on the, ch I'd rather focus on the chat room, but I want to do more of the gameplay and anything else. And I was on Twitch the other night, though, and first you got to get through all the, the gamer gals first. It's, don't get me started on that one, but probably going to be moving to another site. I've been trying to get partnered up with Twitch, but they're just not interested. And I'm going to check this other site. I know an admin on. i see if they can uh, hook me up with some of the bells and whistles before I... Either that or I'll stay on YouTube. But if not, I'll just say, hey, I'll stay on YouTube. They don't want to hear that. Nobody, nobody wants to say, oh, oh. I've had one time I applied for a partnership on Twitch. And just to get said no, and I, said, I messaged them back. and said, okay, I'll just stay on your competitor YouTube for a bit longer until you guys reconsider and they got a response back says okay no problem and I thought well it don't bother me because I'll just stay on there you know okay this one is slightly different here and some big companies are like that too oh, okay you're a little guy we don't care no I just won't go on there There was another website I was on that there was just a lot of gamer, not gamer gals, but cam girls. <laughs> Some of you are probably in the early to mid 2000s remember a lot uh, when video streaming started becoming a thing, and that's all you could find on there were cam girls or live DJs. Whatever happened to all those? We don't. Well, the cam girls are always going to be around, but the DJs and like what I'm doing here. Uh, we weren't just, I wasn't getting enough views anymore, so I just kind of and stopped, and too, I was just busy with personal life stuff. You know, there's no point in going live for just two or three people in a chat room anymore. It takes longer to set up a live than like this. I just set up the camera and just go live. There's no chat room to read, and I don't have to break up fights if there's, or if there's a dispute going on, and that's how it was. And back in the old days of the old heydays of the internet, though, there was a lot more options. And now today, there really isn't. It's just um, you just have to deal with it. You know, some of these, uh, some of these. Some of these people, they get like literally hundreds of thousands of views. And, you know, if it's any kind of gal that's on a webcam, you know what guys are probably doing. And you could probably use that for your imagination. And I'm like, uh, I'm just here to find a good, clean stream to watch gaming on. I don't want to watch something like that. All right, that's done there. Yeah, this is almost the same thing, but see, 
when I was going through this, there was slightly different pieces in here. And that had me kind of worried because, you know, you just don't know. Um, do I even have a clock on any of this stuff that's working? Yeah, my game event is starting now, but I want to finish up this bag real quick here. I don't want to just cut off because I actually need the phone. I don't have another... As a matter of fact, this tablet that I did restore, though, actually has a microphone. I should just use that for audio recordings. I'm using the phone. But I'm using that for my building guides. And it's easy to, uh, you know, to manage different pieces of software. Well... I cannot find this here anymore. There we go. And oh, that's right. I gotta actually. There. Remember, I always talk about blocking a lot of people. And there's a difference between me and blocked and blacklist. You know. And, um, there's somebody that was on a blacklist for quite some time, and just remember them, and then I have another person that's been on there, which just is blocked. Blocked is a little different. I just ban you for a certain amount of time. Usually it's about a year, so I need to um, consider blocking this person here. And I am looking for that. All right, so we have, see it's slightly different than the last one here. You got this oh, tile there. That's, those are not printed, they're actually stickers. All right, I think they do that so you, they, they know you're, they put them on straight. I always thought those are printed. They're, they're, they're not, they're, they're hard to explain. They're not actually your typical sticker. Okay. Yeah, I think what's dragging this build out is you're doing one or two pieces at a time. I think what I'm going to do though is I'm going to build up to bag f up to and through bag five, and the reason being is like I said I'm I mean we'll see if this thing has got about an hour's worth I'll just do that and then stop at four because I'm going to be honest I'm kind of I'm kind of getting bored putting this thing together right now to be honest. Um, I think it's just the fact that it's just, I mean, right now I'm doing the same thing. The building guide is what's dragging it down and I'm losing interest real fast. I'm actually pushing buttons more than I'm actually building. And that's, uh, I mean, if I do that, I may as well just go on the computer and do a database job real quick. I got a few jobs, side jobs I got to, I got to do that I got hired on for. Alright. So we already know there's going to be a, a Mario figure. Well, those don't want to line up. Let me get a plate. Oh, here's a tile. We'll just do this. Kind of mush those up against the side there. and That's how you do it. Okay, and then, yeah, this is almost the same exact thing we're doing here. I bet it's a mirror, just slightly different, just enough to make it subtle. Because this was a mirror from the other side. Yeah, I'm kind of 
getting bored of looking just at some old pasty gray color. <laughs> pasty gray. Well, Jay, you build stuff out of gray, too. Yeah, but I break it up. Oh, no, this is a little different after all. We got this right here. It'll show you the animation, what you're building, and it starts... It, it, it's... I wish Lego could get rid of this fluff and puff crap and just get to the build. I want to build, not watch a movie. If I want to watch a movie, I'll watch an action pack. This is not really a good, entertaining movie to watch. I like these. I just don't have any use for them. A lot of one by two bricks, but I'm also getting confused hitting the hinges too. All right. Yeah, I'm hoping this is a self-contained build here. I think that'd be so cool. It shows it like that. Always leave them like that. Just in case I put stuff in, I'm not tempted to lock the joint together and get confused. Wow, this step actually has four pieces. Wow! We're actually going to be doing adult things now. We're doing bigger steps. We, we graduated, now we're into big boy building now. There we go. Well, now we're back down to one again. Yeah, we're down to one piece now. So I guess they had to warm us up and said, Oh, you've done a little too much. We're going to slow you down a little bit here. This goes up here. It's two different things, so what is that about there, huh? Unless it's like the Lion Knight's castle where they were using the hinges for making the rooms kind of different, you know, different angles and stuff. Yeah, wow, this is getting to be very boring. Just animations and then putting one piece on at a time. Yeah, this is a uh, this is why I'm failing this. I mean we're using a digital guide, right? I understand. I stopped dinging on those. Okay. But when I'm sitting here and I'm hitting more... I'm, I'm back and looking over my shoulder, hitting a button. You put a piece in. Okay. I don't know what that's for there. Got to press... Look over. Press the button again. Or now we're putting two pieces on. I guess they couldn't avoid it. And then now we're back to one again. You see what I mean? It's dragged out. So, I'm going to honestly, when I do the review, um, I'm, I'm bored. I'm literally bored with this already. I mean, I'm getting bored. <laughs> yeah. It's not a challenging build. It's just, it's the gray colors. And I, if this is how Lego's going to produce all their building guides, then, yeah, I think Lego will end up shooting themselves in the foot for it. A lot of people I don't think are going to be ready for the paperless manuals. That still opens up. So that could be steps, too. I don't know. Boy, I hope this is a, like it folds up into a solid bill, because that would be fun. We'll find out eventually here. This tower is going to be the same as what we did before. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing. If you need some 1 by 2 by 2 corner bricks in gray, you know, the set's got you covered. Hold on, is that... I must have forgot to put a piece down here because that is a... Yeah, there's supposed to be a one by one I forgot. 
Okay, we'll put that in. Glad now I checked that, because I was like, man, that doesn't feel too safe or sturdy, but there we go. You're not sure, and that's the thing about the rotation. I rotated the manual to see it. That's probably the only upside I can see with the 3D building guides. All right, we gotta build more of this. Yeah, this is kind of a <laughs> repetitious here. It's like, okay, stop. We're gonna do this real quick. How am I going to do tutorials with my messed up thumb? I know some people say wear band-aids, but I can't do those. I've been putting some ointment on there, like Neil Sporin or something like that, to kind of hold it up a bit faster. But when you're working with your hands all the time, you know, it makes it kind of hard. Trying to gonna persuade my bunch today. Let's not get Chinese food. That doesn't sound good. And we're missing one of these little pyramid pieces. It could have rolled off or something, but I grabbed one out of my uh, random parts that we had. Sometimes they will give you one more. Sometimes they'll shortchange in another bag. So I'm looking around. I don't. Oh, there it is, right there. Well. We'll have an extra one. And, yeah, I remember that one set I was doing. I was missing that one plate with bow. I never found it, so Lego had probably forgot to pack it in the box. But it doesn't mean, though, uh, I could have misbuilt it and put it somewhere else, too. Yeah, so this is kind of boring in terms of doing one at a time. So for me, um, if, you know, from an adult's perspective, I'm losing interest into this set. Like, I'm losing it. So I imagine, will a kid lose interest? I can't really answer that. But for me personally, um, it's just, uh, boy, that's just kind of flimsy. Kind of low quality there. <laughs> that's what we have remaining for bag three. And that's essentially it. Let's wait for the loading to start here. And that's it for right now. So I'm going to just take a breather and I'll be back. It'll be in this installment though. Okay. Let's start with bag four. And bag four is, <laughs> doesn't look like it's that much. So I think we're going to probably wrap up with bag five here. I'm playing my, my game. I haven't found any uh, shiny squirtles. Well, I found one shiny squirtle, but I haven't got anything else special with it. So, yes, I do play that game from time to time. And, yeah, so I had to go outside and give some, some spots in my yard some water. I was probably gone for about 20 minutes. <laughs> and now we're going to continue on with building this. And so I think I'm going to do is just do up to, we'll see here, probably up to like 45, 50 minutes into the build. So uh, do we have a white one of these? It looks like it may be white, but I can't tell on this thing. I got a bunch of blue. Oh, I see the white one. Never mind. And I need a white one of these. Yeah, I'm uploading a one of these Super Mario sets right now. Oh, it goes like this. So I'm slowly getting things done for the for the week. But just trying to trying to get all this stuff done here. Do the fun stuff. It's like I got a project that's that I want to get going here and well this is 
this thing is in my way, but we'll have to get it done first. Okay, and yeah. When I get done with this, I'll stop, catch everything around me, then I'll start again and do the last bag. One day I'm thinking about just mashing all these up into one big giant installment. You know, I don't know. I just might be a little too much for some. And too much for me, really. You know. These are kind of cool tiles here. These slopes. But they're not cool when you're trying to press them on with your fingers. Because he... <laughs> Feels like they're going in like knives. Although some people have told me they've gotten cut by Lego bricks. So it's also a dangerous toy, too. Alright. Probably just one in there. Hey, every brick you put on is one less brick you have to see in the pile. This must be the plant, the bone plant. All right. Okay. And making sure things recording here. Boy, that doesn't want to go on. Yeah, I'm just looking over my shoulders, waiting for the animations to get done. <laughs> Ranting about it at this point ain't going to do anything, because Lego's going to continue on. And by all means, guys and guys, Lego's not a software company. You know, they're far from it, but still, they should have thought this stuff out a bit better. In fact, I got a bunch of review reports I got to hand in this weekend, too. So I'm going to probably see if I can get some of those started and get a building guide done. i got a lot of things going on, but I think what I'm going to do, though, is like I just do one installment a day. I'm in no big hurry. These were given to me late. Well, no, they changed the date. So I'm late by one day on them because I had to re release another set. But if Lego would just have the stuff at my door, you know, let's say it give you three or four weeks, I could easily just kind of trickle things through and do a better job instead of just race to get it done but a lot of these guys who do these reviews they have a they have a staff i mean i'm one of the very few on there who just does this for fun well i don't do this for fun anymore but Now, finding a white piece on a white counter is not that user-friendly. Did it roll somewhere? Looking for another one of these. Oh, there it is. It's probably one of the very few pieces that's colorful in this set. There you go. Yeah, the animations kind of screw you up, so you just have to wait for the thing to fully get done showing you a little movie, then you can do that. And yes, it's kind of boring. They give you these nice leaf pieces in dark stone gray. I'm like, oh, I could use these for ferns, but no, what'd they do? They give it to <laughs> that color, which is kind of boring and bland and kind of depressing looking, but we have to, to do it. 
Yeah, we'll do another bag after this booger here. And then that'll be it for this installment. It's one installment will actually have three. I can keep everything individually divided, but so far these bags have been kind of small here. And remember bag one was the one that was kind of just really kind of puny. So, I, But I, I can't complain though because Lego is breaking this stuff down to where it's not too terribly bad here. Okay, you want to swing it like this. That's what it looks like. And then... And that's it. And then it gives me a an animation. Okay. So this thing here, and I'll show you how this works here, is that okay, I don't need to see that ugly arm anymore. <laughs> God. All right, so this just sits on here like this. And I, is this even backwards? Let me look here. Does it even show me on here? Let me take a look, because I may have those tiles on backwards. And it won't even let you do anything here. Yeah, this is the one thing I hate about these digital guys. I'm literally waiting for I'm I'm looking at my network traffic. Yeah, the tile is back here. That I'm waiting, literally waiting for this to get done loading from my network. So it's not even, you're not even really saving anything on your thing. So basically this kind of just sits here. Somehow. And move it very slow. So there's actually steps here. That's what those are there. And, well, if I can find, where's Jay? The, there he is. So... Just goes like this, boing, 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 boing. Knocks him down, he falls on the ground like that and goes, and he goes ding, 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 ding. That's all he does. Takes a face plant too. So not too, not too exciting there with that. So at least that thing's done. And now we got to do another, another part of the build here. At least this stuff is, at least this bag's got some color to it, you know. I just want to get all these done today, but it's impossible. Like, I just can't get them all finished. It's just too many Lego sets. That's why I wish Lego would listen to us and like, okay, for somebody like myself, don't send me a lot, you know. Just send me... Hey, we got these sets, you know, here you could pick and choose, you can take them all, because I would only pick the smaller ones, you know. But of course, I've been to some auctions, vintage electronic auctions, and sometimes there's a TV that I want, or a radio or something, and they won't even let you take it. You, When you're bidding on, a, when you're bidding on this certain item, and let's say there's three televisions, I'm only interested in one, I have to bid on the whole lot. And then if it's something common, I'll just I'll just sell it to another to another collector or just keep it if it depends. Uh, most of the time I'll just keep them, but if I already got a duplicate television or something, um, then I'll just sell it to a collector. Probably just enough to recuperate the parts. That, you know, I'm only interested. Let's say I spend on a lot, it's $1,500. You know, usually what I'll do is I'll just, okay, there's three sets. I have to divide that and then tack on a little bit more just so I don't have to worry about it. This is nice and bright and colorful here. We got red, orange, yellow, and blue beach colors. So. I don't get to pick. Some people think I get to pick. No. If I if, if they say you're getting a Super Mario set, I'm only interested in let's say three of the sets. No, you gotta pick everything. So you just shut your mouth and get them done. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. Okay, it goes on the white. 
Oh, this camera's sure making that noise. That's why I'm using a separate audio device. All right. I bet the other one goes on the other side. That's exactly what it is. I guess they don't have a a one by two version of this brick yet, so you got to piece two of them together. Okay, it goes up like that. How heavy is bag five? Oh, bag five, we might be able to just knock that out, huh? I mean, I could probably do bag six and just get half of it done now, huh? We'll see how it goes. But, like I said, I don't want to make these installments long and grotesque, you know, so I can, it would take me like half a day to edit them and that wouldn't be too fun for me. Oh, these are printed. I didn't even see that. Hold on. So this one here's got some eyes on it. So when I was doing the unboxing, I never saw that. Well, we can't use that one there, huh? It needs two regular ones. So now we know. Let's go on the sides. Yeah, you're going to be tempted to put them right here. Don't. You got to push them down a little bit. I looked at that and I had to second guess. I thought, well, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, now we got the eyes that go on here. It's eyes with a bunch of studs. Yep, very slow build. I mean, I like taking my time, but... Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's one of those ding, 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 ding tiles, the point tiles. Flatten up all these angles here. Okay, and then it goes like that. Not too bad, huh? Pretty, pretty scary. Okay, and then you gotta do the other part here, which attaches to this. Make sure I get it in the right area. I'm obviously thinking we're not done with it yet. Okay, hey, stop with the animations, please, because it's confusing the life out of me, Lego. You're confusing me now. I went too fast. Okay, we put the two single groove sides where the bricks are facing outwards. And then this is one of those brick tiles. And then... It's right in here. Okay. So it does that. So let's see here. And then we got an animation left to watch. But that's what we have remaining for bag four. And basically, what it does is it sits like this, and you go boing, 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 ding, ding. I can't get it to stay up like how they did it here. Let's see here. Boing, 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 ding. Yeah, mine doesn't go up like that. It's supposed to be like this, but... When I look at it, it does this, but mine doesn't even do that. All right, let me take a look here. 
Maybe I put it in the wrong place because, I don't know. Now we gotta wait for the stupid line to come up again. I just wanna take a look at the side view of it here. Well, this thing's starting to spaz out. If you have an old tablet, it's kind of a pain. Yeah, that's how mine is. I got too many wires. I'm wired in right now because the battery on this thing I forgot to charge. So that's theirs. And yes, this is not a paper manual, so you'll have to deal with the glare. And here's mine, and I couldn't get mine to work, but it looks the same. So, um, let me exit out of that. Unless that's supposed to be like that. Yeah, that doesn't even work at all. like there's not enough leverage for that to go up so you have to help it so you go like this but it's supposed to go up like that well I don't really care because guess what this thing will get parted out when I'm done okay we're gonna get rid of this failed thing out of the way and <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and do yeah this thing didn't even stay up we're gonna do bag five and I think we're gonna stop after this one here and maybe I will regret it, but it means I don't have to do one in a later installment. <laughs> okay, so, so far the build is really slow. And, you know, I wish LEGO had made this just without these on here. This would make a great plate for a flatbed. But you'd have to deal with those too. Or you can use it for a gazebo. You know. Okay, so we got to start with all the small stuff first. We're kids, we always start with the base plate and we worked our way up, but that's an old school Lego. And I'm hoping this will go quick. <laughs> kind of want to stop, but I want to just do five bags now. I don't want to leave you guys hanging with just one bag and then that's it. Oops, it's something, someone's foot. That's probably what we're doing here. So as you can tell by just looking at the parts, yeah, I mean, a lot of this stuff I have a lot of. No terrain pieces, though. The only thing I don't really have is some of the printed pieces in the roof slopes. Those round pieces right here. I don't have those, but I have everything else. And let's see if we can get this done real quick. So far, it looks like we haven't put a dent in the pile of parts. So it's going to be a while before we even get to the end of here. But there we go. There we go. So I got that little pinch right here in my wrist. I don't think it's carpal tunnel because it happened just suddenly. It's going away though. It might have been when I was washing my truck. I don't know. I just, uh, it, you know, you got to wash your car once in a while. Okay, I'm looking for, okay, let's start pulling out of the black parts until we find it. There we found it. Let's find a white piece and throw that in there. Throw it in there, set it in there, whatever. And I wish you'd tell you what you're building, you know, I mean... They spent so much time writing up this goofy app that they don't even tell you what you're building here. It, it'll give you a quick thing. It doesn't keep a preview. There's no button to press see what you're building or anything. And it's kind of annoying, but well, you just take what you get, I guess. i got to separate more of the white parts out of here. I'm looking for a white one by two plate with the little stick at the end here.
Yep, a cluttered workbench is a busy workbench. <laughs> Jay, how do you find things on this old beat-up thing? Well, it's busy. I, 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 like, why does it always look dirty and scuffed up and I wash this thing down? It's because it's busy. You know, it's a busy workbench. You know, and that's one thing I like about having the wood grain counters is because I don't have to, uh, I need to find that but the other way. I don't have to worry about it too much. Wait a minute, but I need a tan one. Let's start pulling those out. Kind of curious to see what's going on outside, but I got to get this done first, and it's just some old drama. I miss the days when it was actually quiet, and yeah, it's. I don't like that anymore. But then again, it's not empty when I wake up to it. All right. It must be the tail or something back there. Remember in the campground we were trying to find these? There's a whole bunch of them now, huh? I got a bunch of them. Lucky to hear some profanities in the background, huh? I'm missing one more of these and kind of like not focused as I'm listening to what's going on in the other room. Yeah, there's actually supposed to be a piece that goes down here. I forgot it. Trying to find it. There's a lot of angular plates in this set, too. And then there's a 1x4 that goes on here. And if it gets pretty intense, I have to uh, stop. Like, just, guys, hang on until I'm done with this. I have a lot to do. <laughs> I'm trying to get all this... All these sets filmed, and I got my own personal stuff. I don't want to be hearing like other nonsense going on right now. It's like dragging out something here. Even my girlfriend doesn't like coming over here much anymore, which is kind of kind of sad. And I don't want to get into all the personal crap that goes along with all this. It's just I want to build in peace, get it done, and then move on to something else. Okay, we must be uh, adding some plates around that there. I had a comment ask, well, why do your... Parents, why are your parents there with you? I, it's, it's a long story. Sometimes they're complaining that the house is too cold or, or there's no TV or whatever. I mean, I, I mean, uh, uh, I don't know. Anyways, though, anyways. Yeah, these are, I like these one by three flat tiles. We're waiting for a one by five flat tile. Well, Jay, then you were gonna ask for a one by seven. Yep, we're gonna keep going until they do. Usually after 10 and it's okay. Seven is is okay because you could do a four and a three. The fives you're doing a two and a three, and, and builds start getting a little flimsy at that point. Okay. Okay, there is a gap down there. Let me make sure. Yeah. Okay, there is. It's like should there be a, not be a gap there. 
Okay, now we got to build the head. They give you a quick preview of what you're building. They start right on the building guide. And just get rid of the fade in and fade outs because they're so slow. Why don't you just say, okay, here it is. Click the next button and it just takes you right into the build. Don't need to animate anything because it doesn't do me any good. You know what? You really can't see what I'm doing there. I'm trying to make it to where you can see all the steps. It's, I know there's somebody that's going to get stuck on some of these. and I try to show every step that I'm doing. Just about done for the day on this. May do a little bit more tonight. I don't know. Well, it doesn't go that way. It goes this way. There we go. Okay, I need a couple of headlight bricks. And some of these teeth pieces and just kind of jam those in. <laughs> Jam them in, just shove them in, just jam them all the way in. See, before I used to be able to keep the door open, just have the air circulating here because the air condition's on, but I have to close it all the way. When they see it open, they can, oh, are you busy? They'll come in here and, uh, oh, you got to rotate the teeth. Like that. Why don't you just tell me to put them in there? Oh, I know why they were doing it to save s instructions. You got to rotate your teeth like that. Okay. And. Well, now I got to find two white palisades. I forgot I grouped some of them over here. Yeah, today it's overcast. It's like 111 or something, I don't remember. And it's uh, neighbors are out there riding their motorcycles in this heat. Are you kidding me? I'm of European descent, so I'm used, to, I like the cold. Okay, we must be building another one for the other side here. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. You have to admit, though, about Lego, though. With all, I know a lot of people don't like the new custom parts or whatever. You don't have to build with them. That's the beauty about Lego. You can keep your old designs, and it's still compatible with your older bricks, too. Lego is probably one of the very few items that's just 100% completely backwards compatible, except for their wooden blocks they used to have when they first started this whole thing. But um, it's backwards compatible. I am going to see if there is a PDF version of these guides out when I'm done. So I can just breeze through it. And we do actually do get a printed tile in here. I gotta find it first. This thing right here. And then and there's a plate that goes here. Maybe those are the teeth, we don't know. Well, no, they're not teeth. You know what, so far I have two parts of this castle, they're not even connected, and we're building creatures right now. So this is the second creature we're building back to back. I thought this was going to be an easy one, oh, I'm getting kind of burned out of this right now, so I'm going to finish it up here. Get a couple of jumper plates, and I'm going to plop those down up there. Yeah, I need to get the scenic sounds going. I'm going to uh, make them a little more crisper. I actually, uh, what I'm building on right now is uh, 
it's a workbench. This is just a removable countertop. Under here is actually a an 18 inch woofer. I don't have a stereo system in here anymore, so I just use it for that purpose. But I thought, you know, it'd be kind of cool to connect it up to the computer. I was thinking about it because it's the 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 receivers out in the shop. It works. It just put it out there just for storage purposes. And I need to find that thing. Oh, there it is. And I need to think about how I'd like to do it. Yeah, working with this white is starting to get kind of kind of boring. I don't understand why we're doing it, but I think what's dragging this thing out is just this guide. I know I've said it a million times, but Kind of bet this is probably going to be on the other side too. I haven't got to that big plate yet. It's been bounced around for a while, but what are we doing? We're doing all the small stuff. Like I said, it's mostly medium to small parts. There's some big pieces in it, but not a whole lot. And. Well, that looks kind of creepy, doesn't it? It just stares at you. Well, it doesn't look too bad, but now we're going to make it look goofy looking. Now we're sticking these on here. Yeah, I've been reading up on how to restore my dashboard in my truck, and I may just go fiberglass, which I don't like, but but then what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to texturize the top to where it looks like it's just vinyl. When you touch it, it'd be hard as a rock, but that's what I was thinking of. I don't know how good the paint will last on it, so I'm going to try to find something that I can mix some color in. So if it gets dinged or something like that, there's something in the back of it. One piece at a time. Oh, yeah. All right. Now it tells us to attach it to this. All right. Show the back side, and that's how it's supposed to go on. So how do you put that in there? Just do what I'm doing here. Some things feel like they're falling off, so just de deal with it. But there you go so far. He's, he's armless, though. We've got stars pouring out of him. I don't know what we're building next, so we'll just have to go with it here. We're almost done with this for the day. Well, I'm almost done with it for the day. And then I can start. A, must be one of the hammer guys. This is the dry castle. So, you know what? Maybe it's, it's called the dry Bowser castle. So, you know what? It's a dry build after all. So, yeah, you're putting this together. You're going to get the full flavor of being bored, huh? Must be the hammer he throws. Making sure I get that on there right. Yeah, I still got this hair just falling in my face. I'm like, I just got to deal with it for just a little longer. A couple more days and it's gone. And yeah, oh, that goes on his head. So that's a mohawk, huh? Or a faux hawk. Okay, now we're building the turtle shell, and that's what that fancy piece was for. So, we'll um, put all these on here now.
hey, I don't have to do the vacuuming. When, it was, when I'm just here, it's just a one day a week deal. Yeah, it's like, you know, that kind of thing. A lot of, a lot of noises probably you guys have never heard of before. <laughs> We're almost done with this. So I just, like I said, I want to just kind of snag up on the first few bags today. And then we'll just do a little bit tomorrow or maybe tonight. It depends on when I get things done. Because I got work stuff I got to get go. Well, not today, but I got to get... Like right now I'm uploading a video. It's got about two hours. And then I got to edit another long one. Get that one done. And then when I'm done with that, then I can start doing the tutorial stuff. Well, that's two. Yeah, putting those on, especially my hands are kind of sore and tender. <laughs> it's not really... Oh my God, can you guys just not do this now? All right, let's see here. And now these go on here. Well, this has a lot of detail in it here. You stick them straight down like this, push them in, and then swing them down. That's a nice part. I wish they'd make wheel wells that are kind of like that. And you got the sparkly stars. Oh, we're not done yet. We got to put some stuff in here now. Don't worry, we're. We're getting there, we're almost done. And then we got the tile that goes like this. I'm hoping I'm facing it in the right way here. Okay, this notch here, I don't know how critical this is, but put it right there. If you're not sure, use the rotation on your 3D device, and there you go. And then this, you just plant this on here, so I'm assuming it goes like that. So, how do you put that in there? I'm just going to tilt it a little bit. I'm trying to find a place to hold. Put your thumb there like that. I'm sure this thing would just go right down in there. There you go. Just kind of mush it in. There we go. Just put it like that and then press down like how my hands are. It should be fine. And there you go. And we're not done yet because I still got plenty of parts on the on the workbench. And now we got to build the hands. So I'm assuming that these hands are probably mirrors. Okay. So we're going to start on those real fast. I'm going to start on these real fast. Get them blasted out here. See, they show you animations. You don't even know what you're doing half the time. It's like, here, we're going to show you an animation, and then we're going to move. Then you can continue on. Just show me an image with a sub-step and say it's a sub-step or something like that, and then we're ready to go. So I'm assuming that these are mirrors. So at this point here, everything's the same up to this point, then I'm just going to mirror these off. Because I just want to kind of want to get this done so I can play a video game or something. Kind of do something else. And this stuff just wants to roll. All right, and then. I mean, there's a lot of decent pieces in the set, but a lot of this stuff in here I probably will never use. It's so common. These are pretty common parts. So, I 
Remember, the one closest over here is the one I'm working from, the building guide. So, the tooth goes like this, and that's how it is. So before I attach this one on, we're going to put this hand on first. It's probably meant to grab J and do something. I'm going to hold it like this and just plop it in there. So there's one. Before I assemble that, though, we're going to take a look here. And then and that's essentially what it is. So we will put that on there. Well, I can't remember how it went on there. Maybe it went like this. There we go. And then we'll shove that there. Just going to hold on to the other side and snap it in. All his hands line up. So it doesn't look too bad. It's So far, nothing's really has fallen off except for that one arch in this thing. Thing, but that's it. And I'm going to set a bad word, but skip, skip, skip. Okay, that's how we built it. Okay, we're done. And yeah, that's it. That's probably where we're going to stop at for this installment. I know I may come back later on and build it in the same day. I don't know. But I got to get done with a bunch of other videos. And that's what we have remaining for bag five. I just picked up a bunch of little pieces, and I've got more back up on my little side table here. And we have a video here. We're going to go through that real quick so I can mark it off my list. So basically, he goes boing, 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 knocks it down and goes ding, 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 ding. That's pretty much what it does. So it's a nice robust figure so far. And we'll close that out there and we'll save the work. But that's essentially what I've done. And yeah, his arms and legs. Well, his feet don't move, but his arms move. Well, that's the only thing that moves on him is his arms. So bags one through five did everything here that we've done so far, even this thing that doesn't work quite right. But let's see if I can tip that over for you to see better. Get that out of the way. And yeah, so pretty much, I don't know how this thing's going together. It's a duplicate almost. It's almost like you can clamp this thing together or something like that. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be. Maybe there's more to it. But that's essentially what I've done in this installment. So tell me what you think of the build so far. To me, it's interesting, but it's it's a building guide. It's just dragging this out, and it's just boring. But let, let me know what you think about it so far.